After some really snowy, cold days, I'm home after work and it's nice out and it is time to work on the prison bus. In this fifth episode of my uh, prison bus restoration series, um, my buddy Steve and I are going to rip out the toilet finally, get the prison bus toilet removed, uh, which is just nasty. And uh, then I'm going to get to work on the floors. The floors have a lot of rust and holes, so uh, let's get to it. <laughs> Which one are we doing? The one closest to the wall. Okay, try Ready? that. Yeah. Just do it? Yeah. Got it. Done. <laughs> that is some serious. <laughs> it's gross, dude. What's that black stuff around the edge? Well, oh, yeah. There's also seeds in there from like a rodent living in there. This could be pretty awesome. Oh, I'll well, make this coming out. What? Yeah. Really? It's, it's dripping? <laughs> yes. Is it really? Yes. With the toilet out, it was time to clean up that whole area. And the whole prison bus is 40 feet long. And I think we spent a good percentage of our time in this back corner, uh, just trying to get everything pulled out. What's up, David? How you doing? I see that. So that was uh, one of our neighbors, uh, David, coming by just to kind of check on us, see what's going on. I've seen for some reason, uh, ever since we've had the bus uh, parked by the house, it's kind of attracted uh, neighbors to kind of stop by and see what's up. Again, just picking away at that nasty back corner, we finally ended up getting a pickaxe and uh, getting leverage under the sort of pea-soaked floor and uh, finally, finally got it pulled out. Then it was time to turn our attention to the front of the bus. A little bit of flooring still had to be cut out and uh, Steve actually used the Dremel tool just to make a nice clean cut. And pull these walls off to insulate. Pull the walls off. Really? So we debated this for a while. Uh, I was kind of arguing that we should pull the walls off. Steve was saying that we shouldn't. And in the end, we did not pull the walls off. With our debate complete, we got to work on the floors. Uh, you can't see it in the images, but there were a lot of sharp nails and bolt ends sticking up from the floor. And Steve ground those off, and I tried to look busy with my dustbin and little broom. So later that day, uh, Steve headed home and I had an appointment with my wire brush. Uh, attached it to the grinder and got busy trying to get rid of all the rust on the floors. Now this not only took forever, but just made an incredible amount of dust. So uh, after a while, I had a brilliant idea to go get my fan. Um, sorry Steve, I didn't think about this when you were there. Um, cranked the fan up, uh, kept it right next to the wire brush, and it did an awesome job of blowing all that rusty dust out of the bus 
and directly into my workshop in the garage. And you can see that the wire brush doesn't do a perfect job. It actually leaves the floors pretty clean. Uh, not shiny, but really pretty rust free and uh, cleaned up. So I just uh, methodically worked my way uh, up the bus, uh, sort of dragging that fan with me, and um, it worked really well uh, near the back door. As I got toward the middle of the bus, it just kind of became a dust fest. Uh, you can see here I'm using the shop vac periodically to uh, vacuum up a lot of that rusty dust, and the shop vac ended up weighing about 20 or 30 pounds just because it picked up so much of that really heavy uh, metal dust. All right, so with the floors all wire brushed out, I took one of the doors from the old cages in the prison bus and I welded up a kind of improvised uh, welding cart. Uh, this was actually my first welding project and it turned out pretty good and I rolled it into the bus. All right, so I got the floors cleaned up in the prison bus uh, pretty good. As you can see, I was uh, grinding them with the uh, wire brush and got most of the loose rust cleaned up and they're looking pretty good. The next thing to deal with are all the holes in the floor. Uh, there are a lot of small holes uh, from nails and then some about quarter inch size holes from some bolts and then some bigger, uh, big old rust spots where the floor is just rusted through. Um, what I'll show you is my method for patching up the holes. Basically what I'm doing is I'm taking the uh, flap disc and grinding around the hole and getting the metal really clean and exposed all the rust off and then I'll come in and slowly weld up the hole. 